Hello, everyone. How's it going? Hello, Brody. Your people. I get it. I totally get it. Um, well, hello, Tainro. Hi, how's it going? Um, let's see. What am I doing here? Um, so, we are standing here in front of the old Battle Dome. Uh, we've got our squad as usual, and I am ready to get into some more challenges. So far, we have gone through the Battle Dome twice. Um, and, oh, perfect, thank you. Um, yeah, we had a, we had a good one. Um, I think we picked up the arena symbol there. But here, we are... Getting back into the Battle Dome, so far we have done the Battle Dome twice. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be uh, on the fifth time through that the Frontier Brain will potentially show up. So I'm hoping that we can do that today. Did I say, did I not say Dome? I meant to say Dome, sorry. Um... But yeah, we're just getting to the green room as usual. Um, the teams will probably start to ramp up just a little bit. Yes, I also love the tournament style battles a lot. Um, Starmie is going to sweep here. Um, I'll, uh, but I'll have Metagross in reserve. I'm afraid of that pile of swine to have Salamence. Hmm. Alrighty. I'm actually really excited um, because I've been meaning to get just like a little monitor um, uh, because I... Uh, hold on one second. I keep forgetting to do this. All right, we're back. Sorry. Um, okay, so we are doing good here. A psychic on our box is going to be just fine. Perfecto. Um, yes, I was talking about how I wanted to get a little monitor um, for when we finally start doing some stuff that I need a capture card for and I'm not just doing like locally on my computer. Um, so that's super helpful, and I got that set up today, so I'm, I'll be able to stream some, like, PS4 stuff, some Switch stuff at some point. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, oh, I was just moving something out of my room, Brody. Um, but, uh, yes. Oh, draw any Pokemon for free, uh, for memory. Okay, Brody, what do you want to see? All right, we gotta fight Julia here in a second. Um, let's see. Victor Bra Victory Bell, Breloom, Quagsire. Um, I love a Salamence lead here, and then we'll go Metagross. Um, it's funny because that uh, Quagsire, like the water ground, is one typing that we're not gonna be like super stoked to see um but we'll see how we do i feel like we'll be fine um excuse me let's see oh you want a shroomish okay i got you um <laughs> some of these are terrible my star use okay um all right let's let's try a shroomish Shroomish has the two little feet, right? Wait. I think it's got like two little feet. Um, and then kind of like a frown, like some spots everywhere. Um, and kind of just like, I don't know what kind of eyes Shroomish has. I think Shroomish is kind of looking a little mad, right? That's 
pretty... Hold on, I have a bunch of other drawings on here. That's pretty shroomish, isn't it? Wouldn't you say? Kind of looks like a half-eaten chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> yeah, that's not that bad. Oh yeah, the Lugia, I still have it on here. Yeah, that's a weird one. I mean, I got kind of like the angle of its eye thing, right? Um, but yeah, there's, there's Shroomish. Perfecto. Um, okay, let's get into this battle. And we got an Aerial Ace, let's roll. Love to see it. Oh, not quite the one shot. Hmm. A sweet scent is something I love to see. Just a flamethrower will do it as well. Oh yeah, you saw the Lugia before, I'm, I'm embarrassed. Um, but uh, yeah, got that monitor set up. My wife and I did a lot of fun like errands today. Um, we had a really nice day. Um, it was really, really good because... <laughs> hey, I did my best, Brody. I did my best. Um, but, uh, yes, my wife and I, we had a really nice day. We had the day off today. Um, I go back to school tomorrow, um, which will be fine. It's been really good to have the three-day weekend. Um, feeling pretty refreshed after today. We did a lot of really great stuff. Um, I guess I'll talk about it a little bit. On Saturday, we went to... A Columbus Crew game. If you don't know, I live in the Columbus, Ohio area, generally. Um, and I have never been too terribly into soccer, like, in my life. Um, but the crew, I really enjoy a lot. Um, Metagross is going to be good against all three of those Pokemon with our Brick Break. But I really enjoy the crew. Um, they are probably, they're one of the best teams in MLS. They won the cup last year. Um, there we go. And it was a great time. They have a new stadium. We really love it there. So we had a really good time. Um, yesterday, a friend of ours directed a play in the park. Um, it was called An Iliad, and it was like a more modern play based on the Iliad, kind of. Um the classic poem. It was really, really good. She did a really good job. It was a great time. Um, and hopefully this can one-shot, but if not, Psychic will counter its new fighting type nicely. All right, no prop. Um, but yes, it was really, really good. Oh no. You gave me your item. What'd you give me? A choice band. Okay, I forget exactly what choice band does. I would rather be locked into Shadow Ball. Um, so that's not the biggest deal in the world. Um, ooh, maybe I should have just locked into Brick Break. But that's all right. We should be able to just chill. This isn't gonna be super, uh, very effective, but yeah, we'll be fine. Doesn't look like it has much against us anyway. Oh yeah, and if I was locked into um, Psychic, I would not be able to affect uh, Sneasel. Oh, it boosts physical moves? I actually don't remember what the choice items do. I never, I can never remember. Um, I know that they make it so that you can only choose that move, but. Um, but yeah, I saw a play in the park last night. It was great. Hung out with uh, some friends, it was great. Um, before and during, which was wonderful. And today was just a nice kind of chill catch-up day on our day off. Really happy weekend. Um, all right, so we're in the finals now. Um, we're going to face Brayden. Let's see what Brayden's got. I am not ready because I want to see what he's got. Um, Dark Horse team of the tournament. Um... Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take Salamence and Starmie here. Or no, I'll take Salamence and then Metagross. Uh 
Uh, yeah, that's fine. Because at the end of the day, our Pokemon are just a lot better than those, but... Really want to make sure I'm on my on my matchups. Oh, Chill Days are my favorite too. I really, really enjoyed it. It was great. Because I always feel like I have things that I want to do, things I want to catch up on. Um, that's nice. We can lower Fero's attack. Um, the band is physical. Specs are special. Okay, thank you, Brody. I actually really appreciate that. Um, let's get a Dragon Dance in. And especially because Firo outspeeds, I just don't want to see a status here. Great. Um, oh, been doing any music production on the side lately? Um, not a ton lately since school has been back. Um, and we've had some really busy weekends. I'm sure I, I will get back into it soon. Um, excuse me. There we go. Because I have a couple projects <clears throat> already started. Um, so I should be able to get something done before the end of the year. I don't know if it'll be released by then. Um, but I should kind of, once I can get settled a little bit, um, I can get back into it. But yeah, yeah, stuff is, stuff is pretty close already. Um, it's just, I have a few more things to record and then mixing stuff. So that can... It's a, it's a work in progress, but it's definitely further along than... It's over halfway there, I'll say. Oh, hooray! We won the battle tournament! Lovely! Mm-hmm. It really is, especially when I'm doing this. I have a lot of... A lot of things that I want to do, but I really enjoy doing this, too, so... Um, there's kind of, you know, seasons with things. I don't know why I'm trying to leave, because we are going to go again. Um... We are... So that was three times through. And we still haven't really had many issues at all, but that one was, you know, a little bit more... Uh, you know, a little bit more of a challenge. Or I just ha you just had to think about it a little more. Um, hold on, I'm trying to keep track of this because we are one time through the tower. All right. Let's see who we got. Ah, -ha -ha, that's perfect, Brody. You got the Ziggy. Um, all right, this can be tough. We're going to have Salamence. Um, and then... What'll be on the side? Um, I feel like I am not using Harry at all, but I'm just kind of scared of that lantern. Regina! Alright, Golduck, I'm fine with that. Um, as long as it does not know, like, Ice Beam or Ice Punch or something like that, we should be good. Um, let's see what an Earthquake does. It should be a two-shot. Um, yes, I do love that Ziggy emote. It's a classic. Okay, Surf, that is fine. We're eating that all day long as a Salamence. Perfect. And now, okay, Lantern. This is why I specifically wanted Salamence, because he is carrying our Earthquake TM. Might still take two. Ah, one shot. Love it. Um, <laughs> I know. I mean, I feel like I have used Harry a lot. Um, just in other challenges, like... Specifically in the arena, it was like the Harry show. So it's kind of nice to see the other ones get used. Uh, we got Norton. These names don't mean anything to me. But let's see. Overall, a weak team. <laughs> Sorry, Norton. Also, he's a psychic but has a Sharpedo and a Magneton. Very interesting. Um, Metagross is going to be good against all three. And I will definitely have Salamence in the back. 
Um, also, fun fact about Generation 3, I'm using both of them. It is the only generation to have two pseudo-legendaries. Both Metagross and Salamence are pseudo-legendaries, which is pretty neat. And they're both very different, which I like. That's why a lot of Battle Frontier teams use both of them. Including me. All right. All right. Let's see what he's got. Sharpedo. Easy peasy. He will probably outspeed us here. Ooh, Earthquake. Don't love that. Brick Break should knock it out. Yeah, Sharpedo's pretty frail, but a nice quick Earthquake from Sharpedo is going to put a little hurting on Stevie for now. Okay, Trace Clear Body. There we go. All right, we fine. We're fine. Ah, someone play Emerald with only Zigzagoons? Are they even allowed to be Linoons, or do they have to be Zigzagoons? That could be fun. That's a fun little challenge run. Because I'm sure that's possible to do. They actually have, like, a lot of, like, move variety, but it might take a lot of grinding. All right, Kendra. What do you have? What do you have, Kendra? Noctow, Chimeco, and Stantler. I love that. <laughs> One win will make this team proud. <laughs> I love the sad descriptions. Um, there we go. I will have Metagross up front with Starmie in reserve. Let's see. Because Metagross is going to be pretty fine against all of them. Great. Aha! Can't use Intimidate on me, buddy. Oh, wow. That does kind of a lot on Stevie. There we go. Um, was it in his... Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's... Let's do Meteor Mash. Don't miss. There we go. All right, not quite, but we're going to be fine. We weren't going to knock it out with a Brick Break anyway. Noctowl's pretty bulky, generally. I love Noctowl. Generation 2, man. There we go. Perfecto. Psychic Kendra. Um, was that the semifinals? I think it was. Yes, all semifinal matches have been completed. We've got Julia. All right, Julia. Let's see what you got. A weaker than average team uses startling and disrupting. Disruptive, rather, moves. Um, okay, here. Um, I'll have Salamence in reserve, but I'll begin with good old Steve. Um, there we go. Oh, Generation 8. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, that might be a long time from now. But when I get to Generation 8, someone save this video. <laughs> if I ever play Sword and Shield, I need to use a Zigzagoon in that game. Because I don't think I've ever used one in Sword and Shield. So that, that could be fun. Uh, someone mark this down in a couple years when I do that. <laughs> All right, I don't... Oh yeah, Brick Break, we're fine. Shiftry's a part dark type. That's why I started with Metagross, silly me. Boom, baby. And we'll be eating that all day long. Hooray. I do enjoy having the Shell Bell and the leftovers, but it always kind of annoys me how long the animations take. Yeah, Fero's fast, man. Fero's still kind of like an underrated Pokemon after all these years. Um, oh, one shot. Let's go. All right, come on. There we go. That is four times through, guys. Um, so, we should be seeing the Frontier Brain in this next uh, time through the dome. 
Um, let me see what they've got again. Yes, they're at the top. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm hyping myself up here. Um, okay, I think I know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna use for the Frontier Brain. I feel decent about it because he has one Pokemon that I'm just like not sure about. I can't cover perfectly, um, so I'm a little nervous about that. I do have I do have a good counter for two of his Pokemon. So if he uses both of those, that would be clutch. Um, but we'll see. We will see. Um, all right. I'm your guide to the single battle tournament. Let's do this thing, gang. Okay. We got our loyal three here. All right. All right, I'm a little nervous. Let's see. All right, let's look at the tournament tree. Um, okay, and yes, there he is. If you look in the bottom right, you can see the name Tucker. And that is the frontier brain of the Battle Dome. Tucker is amazing. One of my favorites. You will see why he's so delightful when we get there, hopefully. But uh, Tucker is in, is, in the, is in the tournament. He's in the bracket. We will meet him in the final should we be so lucky to get there. Um, that's right, Tane Row! All right. So let's see. Houndoom, Guard of War, and Slow King. That's pretty good, actually. Um, hmm. I like Starmie as a lead with Salamence in reserve, maybe. No. With Metagross in reserve. We'll do that. Mm. All right, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, this this guy's got pretty pretty good coverage. Um, I miss those teams that were just like a Rhyhorn, an Onyx, and a Kabuto. <laughs> All right, I don't mind this. This is solid. We can Thunderbolt this this fool. This should be a two shot, I would hope. Um, What do you have? Maybe Shadow Ball? Thunder Wave. Hate to see it. Hate to see Thunder Wave. Um. Oh, still out speed. Ooh, Harry, you quick. Mm. Okay, that's delightful. Love that. Excuse me. It's a little sniffly. Okay, Gardevoir. This is great, actually. Even if... Ooh, don't like that. Don't like that. Let's see if we... Oh, boy. Okay, so Gardevoir is getting set up on double teams a little bit. We should be in pretty good shape. All we got to do is hit one more Surf. Oh, and you're resting. You probably have a Chesto Berry. And you do. Um, so you are trying the Wands Kingdra strategy, it looks like. Um, so I'm going to let Harry go down to get a clean switch in because really um metagross just has to hit this thing one time chesto resto you are so right brody all right i'm fine with that um that's why i wanted metagross in reserve because we can resist psychic really well and we just have to hit one shadow ball and that, that should do it that should do it all right love to see that all right, that got a little spooky. That got a little spooky for a second. All right, but we're all right. All right, as you can see, Tucker was victorious. Um, all right, let's check this out. Swampert, Jinx, Clefable. Overall, a weak team. What? It's not that weak. Um. 
I like a Metagross lead with Salamence in reserve, I think. Um... Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Allison. This kindergarten magazine is too much. <laughs> I really, excuse me. I really hope we don't lose to her now. Okay, Clefable, I'm fine with that. Perfectly fine with that. Okay, we outspeed. Love that. This could one shot. Clefable's a little bulky. Never the mind. Oh, Meteor Mash! I think Clefable is the only other Pokemon in this game that can learn uh, Metagross's signature move, Meteor Mash, because Clefable, um, canonically, is from outer space. It's a cool little factoid. I like that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Swampert is indeed doing the heavy lifting there. Swampert's really, really, really good. Um, yes, and here he is. Um, I'm just gonna let Stevie do what he can here. Swampert's probably carrying Earthquake, I would guess. Um, got a nice special drop. That's not really gonna help us, but... Oh, counter. Okay. Um, let's try Psychic then. Oh, we got the special drop. There we go. Okay, there's the Earthquake. Alright, that's, that's no big deal. Uh, let's see. No big deal. Um, we're gonna go ahead and Earthquake here. This should do the trick. There we go. Perfect. Perfecto. There is a chance that Swampert could have been carrying an Ice move, which we would have hated to see. Um, but... Alright. So we have two more fights. We're in the semis now against Hunter. If we defeat Hunter, we will be facing Tucker in the final. So let's see what we can do. What you got, Hunter? Oh, this is great! One win will make this team proud. You are so right because my Starmie gonna sweep you! Um, Seeking will probably have Mega Horn, though, so that's a pretty big counter. Um, um, and we'll have, we'll have Metagross in reserve because it's just going to be a little tankier, I think. Uh, yes. Perfecto. In fact, if we see Seeking first, I might just swap Starmie out. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. No way, Brody. <laughs> Not doing it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, we got a Starmie mirror match here. His is faster and has the Thunderbolt as well. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, we hang on, is ours stronger? His was a little faster, but is ours stronger? Okay, whew. He must have trained his in speed or it has a timid nature. Um. All right, we'll definitely outspeed here. We don't outspeed. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Wow. Was not expecting that. But let's see what Stevie's got. Whoo, boy. Okay, now I'm afraid a little. Oh my gosh. Oh, guys. Oh no. Oh, I hate that. Oh gosh. It's just going to try to horn drill us. We could really lose here. Oh, I would hate to lose that way. Alright, we asked either it's Quick Claw or a Speed Tie. Oh, rest. Do you have Chesto? Probably. No, it doesn't. Okay, that could help us out a lot. Let's see what we can do here. Sleep Talk! Oh my gosh, I'm so afraid! Okay, thank the lord. Oh my gosh, thank you, Tainro. <laughs> uh, I expected Seeking to have Megahorn, but not Horn Drill. 
I mean, I know it learns horn drill, but oof, that was insane. Oof. That was cutting it close. And the fact that it outsped, it outsped Starmie clearly on a quick claw. Gosh, that was insane. Whew. All right. All right, gang. You can now see it is us and Tucker. And this person is saying, congratulations on advancing to the final match. You will challenge the Dome Ace Tucker. Am I ready? Well, you're going to see he's got a Swampert which we don't like. Salamence and Charizard, we actually uh, counter pretty well. He's the perfect, invincible superstar. He uses strong and straightforward moves. And look at him. Look at his outfit. He's amazing. Oh, he's so great. Okay. Whew. I am ready. And we are going to go um, Harry to lead with Arrow in reserve. All right. And now you're gonna see his intro, which is glorious. Ugh. All right, and now the trainer is standing in SCG's record-setting path. Yes, the one and only, the Battle Dome Commissioner, our very own Dome Ace, make way for Tucker. And look at this guy, he's twirling, he's hopping, he's hyping up the crowd. Ugh. <laughs> he's moonwalking. <laughs> It's so amazing. Tucker! Oh, gosh. That is great. Do you hear this? This crowd, they're all itching to see our match. I bet you're twitching all over from the tension of getting to battle me. Ugh. Okay. So here we come. Really don't want to see Swampert. Whew. All right, folks. What we want to see here, we really, really want to see Salamence. We'll be in good shape if he leads Salamence. Okay. 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 Okay, I don't care. We're fine. Completely fine. I am going to swap into Arrow, though. Because I like Harry Jr.'s chances against the other two Pokemon. And... There's a chance Swampert could go Earthquake. And if he does that, we will dodge. And we get a nice Intimidate off. Okay, that's great. Lovely. Perfect. Perfect. Um, I can't decide if I want to Dragon Dance or Earthquake here. I'm just going to go ahead for the Earthquake because there is a chance he is carrying Ice Beam. And if he is, that'll be Curtains for Arrow. And I just want to make sure I get some damage off. He does have Ice Beam. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Um, Because here's what we're going to do. We're going to use Surf. And it's going to do a lot of damage. It might even get a critical hit. Counter. Oh, that's great. That is great. Great! Okay, perfect. That means we are in good shape for Charizard or Salamence. Again, we really want to see Salamence here. Great. All right. Now, we should outspeed with Ice Beam and one-shot it. That's what should happen. Okay, we outspeed. That's right, gang. That's right. Ooh, I know. That's what I'm saying, Tainro. Oh, yeah. Great victory. <sighs> Unbelievable. It's incredible. The victory is SCG. Rules are rules. Let me see your frontier pass. The tactic symbol. Oh, amazing. I sorely underestimated you. I won't make the same mistake next time. Come on. Glorious. Oh, that was great. Um, that was pretty good. <laughs> yes! Thank you. All right, so do you do we want to keep this match on our Frontier Pass, or do we want to keep the Battle Factory one with the Grumpig? Um, 
What do we think? Are we keeping the factory, or do you wanna do you wanna have this as our frontier pass battle? Cause this one was pretty good. Um, the Swampert, I was really, I was really nervous. You want this one, Brody? I, I think I want this one too. I think this will be cool. This one, okay, great, love it. Um, awesome. Because when I saw Swampert, my heart sank. And it turns out Swampert had a really good counter to both Metagross and Salamence. It knew Earthquake, Ice Beam, and literally counter. It could have destroyed both Metagross and Salamence. Um, so, oh, that was crazy. Oh my gosh, guys. Hooray. All right, so the Battle Dome is down. The Battle Dome is down. All right, so let's see where we're going to go next. We have one victory already in the Battle Tower. So I was thinking of just continuing that, at least for the time being. Um, ba, ba, ba. um oh, it's okay. We got we got a good battle in there still. Um, all right. All right, um, I'm gonna save because I have anxiety and I wanna make sure we keep that. So let's have a look at our, mm, our battle pass. We got the knowledge, luck, guts, and tactics. Mm. We're just missing three. We are just missing three. We are over halfway. We are missing the, yes, the tower, the palace, and the pyramid. The pyramid's a little bit uh, crazy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hop into here. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna open with Salamence and then have Stevie last. That's kind of gonna be the play. Um, can we get one tow battle tower fight at the end of the series with Ziggy? You know what? Sure, Brody. <laughs> sure. Um, okay. So let's get this going. Yes. We'll do that. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. All right. So this Frontier Brain looks really tough too. Um, we have to do 35 consecutive wins, it's telling me, is this thing that I'm looking at. Um, so, we've gone through once, so we have to go through five times, that's crazy. Um, let's Dragon Dance. Oh, perfect, love it. Oh yeah, I, I guess you're right, Brody, yeah. Say, don't get the double protect on me. Love to have, let's see, yeah, protect. I'll set up again and just sweep you. Perfect. So Salamence is sitting pretty right now. Plus two on speed and attack. We are killing it. Oh yeah, Earthquake will hit a Magneton. There you go. Lovely. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the Battle Tower, to me, is kind of like the longest one to get through. Um, just because it is, it, it can be kind of dry for me. I, re I really enjoy the, um, you know, the novelty of some of the other ones. Um, where this one is just like, you know, you just stack them up and you try to knock them down. It's pretty straightforward. Oh yeah, Harry Jr. was the play there. 
Lovely. Thank you, friend. Opponent number three. If we have time tonight, I might try to go through another facility. Ah, oh, yawn. That sucks. Um, I'll just make sure I get this killed. Meditite. Oh, that's no big deal. Let's just try to work through the sleep. Um... Oh, who is my favorite Pokemon that we used in the Emerald uh, Battle Frontier series? That is interesting. Um, okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> I was really just kind of messing around there. Okay, this person is terrible. Um, but my favorite Pokemon that we used... That's kind of hard to say. I really loved Guzzle the Torkoal. Really got out of, really got us out of some jams. Did really well against Flannery and Norman specifically, uh, which was great. Um, I also really loved the original Harry, Armalotic, just because it was such a fun uh, process finding Melodic this time. I mean, <laughs> Brody, I know your answer. Um, but yeah, I'd probably have to say Guzzle or Melodic. Those were the, those were the two, just kind of right off the bat, that I really enjoyed. Um, I feel like the first couple challengers here were way better than what we are currently encountering. Lombre. Ah, that's annoying. There we go. There we go. That does it. Um, Ziggy second. You're so right. Uh, but also the Grumpig from the Battle <laughs> Factory <laughs> is not far off, honestly. Uh, this Murkrow might have something tricky, but I'm going to try to stay in with Arrow. Okay, that's fine. I'm a-okay with that. I can't use Aerial Ace again because of the Torment. But Earthquake is fine. It'll probably hit me with a ground move, or a rock move, rather. I was about to say. There we go. Ah! And we still have speed. We're fine. Um, let me look here. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think regarding the next one. Yeah, because I think I think we'll have time tonight to go through one more challenge, um, which I'm excited about. I'll do I'll do a different facility so we're not just doing another run of the battle tower. Um, ah, uh, Marsh Tomp. I hope you don't have Ice Beam like that Swampert did. Ah, Rock Tomb, not great. Not great, a critical hit, come on now. Let's see. Ah, uh, Sneasel, we're fine. I'll try Flamethrower, ah. This is kind of a good test for Flamethrower. Okay, that is actually really good to know. Um, that's fine. Oh, hold on. That is surprising. We are actually down speed now. Okay. Um, we have three more, Brody. We have to beat the Battle Tower, the Battle uh, Pyramid, and the Battle Palace. We have not tried any run-throughs of the Pyramid or the Palace. There we go. Yeah, I'd say th I'd say three to four, depending on how well we do, um, because there's always the chance that we could lose. Like, things were looking scary 
in that last round of the Battle Dome. Like, we could have gotten horn drilled by that Sea King and lost. Um, we could have gotten screwed by that Swampert and lost. Um, it, that was that was getting hairy in the Battle Dome. So, uh, if all goes according to plan, like thankfully it has thus far, I would say maybe th three or four episodes. You're, you're probably right about that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, it's been interesting beginning with Arrow. Um, I would say that Starmie is probably our best Pokemon on the squad so far. Um, if Arrow gets hit with any special attacks whatsoever, he is getting annihilated. Um, but a plus one aerial ace should do Cacturn. Yes, lovely. And Sableye. Hmm. Holds on. We are minus four special defense, so we'll see if we can hang on from this feint attack. All right, we're fine. We're living. We're living on a prayer. There we go. Okie dokie. All right, another good run of the tower complete. Um, that is two times through. And two battle points to commemorate it. Okay. No. Okay, so... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run down here. Um, we're going to go near the battle arena there, and we're going to go all the way down. And we're going to try our first crack at this. This is the battle palace. As you can hear, the music is incredible. Like everywhere. Um... Where the hearts of trainers are put to the test. I welcome you to the Battle Palace. Um, so what happens here at the Battle Palace is that you don't actually get to select your Pokemon's moves. Which is crazy, but they attack based on their nature, I believe. And I don't really know how any of that works. <laughs> really, every time I've gone through the palace... I just kind of try to put together a good team and pray they do what I want them to. Honestly. Here, he's talking about a Pokemon's nature, so it must be based on their nature. Um, so, we walk through here, and as you can see, we are kind of like removed from the battlefield. So the whole idea is that you just set your Pokemon, and they just do whatever they want. And it's really, really interesting, and it can be lucky. It can be pretty luck-based, luck -based, but... We'll see how we do. Yes, for real. Yeah, see, I just hit attack, and I did not get to select my attack. Honestly, we flinched here. Um, but here, Harry Jr. appears incapable of using its power. That can always happen where your Pokemon can just not move, which is horrible, and I don't like it. Um, I did not know that Surf hit when they were diving. That makes sense, but I actually never knew that. That's incredible. Um, the reason I started with Starmie here is just because we have really good coverage. And, you know, sometimes they will use their best move. Um, like there, we used Thunderbolt. That was going to be the best move that we had against Seal. Um, who's better, Harry or Harry Jr.? That's a tough one. Honestly, that is very tough. Um... I, I don't know if I can pick. I love them both. Oh, Chikorita. I would have loved Ice Beam there, but Psychic is going to do pretty well as well. There we go. So we've only been able to not move once so far. So I'm pretty okay with that. All right. Do, do, do. Um, let me... Ah, okay. oh, classic little sun kern. That's annoying. Yeah, I'll get Harry out of there. 
Arrow is definitely going to be our best Sunkern counter. Yeah, that ain't going to do nothing. Uh, Brody, I'm with you. Any Gen 2 Pokemon, I am all for. Now until the end of time. Got a good Earthquake. Oh, Flash Fire. What? Oh, Arrow. All right, let's go back to Harry. And I do love how you can actually switch out. And that's something I kind of forget sometimes. Yeah, see, there Harry used the right move. So Harry has used, like, correct moves most of the time, I would say. Um, all right. Perfect lead for an Onyx. Yeah, I'm looking at the team of the Frontier Brain here, and I'm not quite sure how I want to order my squad. I'm pretty... I'm pretty interested in how that's gonna go. And here in the Battle Palace, you only have to go through twice and then the Frontier Brain will show up on the third time. Um, so it really varies as to when these Frontier Brains will appear. And again, when you're, do when you're going for gold symbols, you really have to win a lot in a row. And we're just not going to go for gold symbols because I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. Um, <laughs> oh, it, Arcanine was your fave Pokemon. I mean, Arcanine's awesome. Good. Love to see a Psychic there. All right, we're sitting pretty. Um, wondrous. Ooh. I don't know if you heard that. That was either like a plane or a car going really fast. Um, fourth opponent. Let's roll. Let's do it. What you got, Adrian? Just a little Natu. He's so tiny in this game. Look at him. He's so little. I love it. Um, Surf, see, that's not what we wanted there, but it does a good amount. Ice Beam, also not what we want. We're really looking for Thunderbolt. We could have maybe seen a one-shot had we used Thunderbolt. There we go, finally. Take out is fine. Ugh. Oh, there we go. That's the first time our opponent has been incapable of using their power. So it can happen to the opponent as well. Hmm. The Smoochum just don't want to move. There we go. Not how I would have finished it off, but that'll do it. And again, as we do this first time through, you're like, Smoochum's a baby Pokemon. Like, it's not. It's literally for babies. Come on, man. All right, so we got three more battles on this time through in the palace. Um, Delibird. Yeah, we'll stay in. Surf is fine. Delibird's a very bad Pokemon. Ah, oh, Squirtle. Love seeing a Gen 1 starter here. It's just so lovely. Um, because obviously you have your... Uh, the Pokedex that the game gives you um, when you start any Generation 3 game, and an Eevee as well. Awesome. Um, but then in the Battle Frontier, literally any Pokemon could be seen that had been created up to that point. So, ooh, a Lucky Flail by you. Okay, not too powerful. Um, so when you're here in the Battle Frontier, you can just see, you can see anything. Um, all right, we're fine. It's gonna endure that surf. Ugh. Harry's just really not wanting to do anything. That is fine. I mean, if this, excuse me, if this Eevee makes its way through both of our remaining Pokemon, I will eat a shoe. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Guys. Guys, just attack. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
Oh no. Just attack! Somebody's got to attack. Somebody has to attack this Eevee. I can't believe it. That's been like five turns in a row. Shadow Ball doesn't affect. Oh, thank the Lord, Stevie's genderless. Dude, this is crazy. This is crazy. You are so right, Tainro. I will try to salt the shoe. Guys, I can't believe this. Thank you, Lord. That was insane. My goodness, that was stupid. I really hope that doesn't happen again. Oh, my gosh. I know, and I hope that is not like a precursor of things to come. I'm actually going to test it here. I know. That is actually really good. Something that I hadn't really thought about with this squad. How both Starmie and Metagross are genderless. Um, so if any Pokemon tries to use a t um, Attract, um, we're probably going to be able to... I mean, we'll definitely be able to just wall it. Um, just because if a Pokemon doesn't have a, have a gender, by Pokemon rules anyway, um, it's not going to be able to use Attract. All right. So it baton passed that iron defense over to... It's going to be not very effective. I mean, a brick break, yeah, I should do the trick. Okay, there we go. I believe we have one more. That might have been seven. Okay, yeah, we got one more. So this is our last opponent here at the Battle Palace. And I guess that is why you only have to go through three times to get the Frontier Brain um, at the end of the third time, just because some <laughs> some bullcrap can happen. <laughs> it can be really RNG heavy. Um, yes, we will definitely stay in um, with Starmie if Hitmonchan is counter, because we literally don't have any physical attacks, so that's great. Just would love to see a psychic here. Um, Brody, that's what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. Just by Pokemon rules, there are no gay or non-binary people. Come on now. Come on now. I know it's just a game mechanic, but... Alright, this fight with this Hitmonchan is gonna... Just gonna last forever. There we go. Because it just keeps using Detect. All right, let's see. We got a Furret. Um, let's just go into Metagross. I actually don't love this just because um, Stevie does have Brick Break for the normal types, but Stevie also has um, Shadow Ball, so there's always that chance that it could use Shadow Ball against the normal type. That's, that's one of the problems we ran into against Eevee. But here, really need to see a Brick Break against this Chansey, especially if it's just going to minimize forever. That'll do nothing. All right. I mean, we'll be fine. This might even kill. Not quite. Light Screen. Brick Break would be amazing now. Okay, we're just gonna set up, love it. That should maybe do it. Great. Woo, okay, one time through. Love it. To achieve a seven win streak, the bonds that bind your heart with your Pokemon seem firm and true. All right, whoa. So they really, they really understand how difficult it is to go through the palace. That's why they gave us so many battle points for going through. Um, all right. So now, that's what I'm saying. Um, all right, gang. So let me save the game because I have anxiety. All right. And with that, 
Uh, I'll probably call it here. That was lovely. We were able to get another symbol. That was awesome. Um, oh, battle points. Uh, Brody, battle points let you buy items. You can buy Poké Dolls with them. You can teach your Pokémon moves with them. I think you can learn, like, the elemental punches and, like, Rock Slide and some other good moves um, using battle points. So that's why there, it's kind of like another currency. I'm very happy you were here too, Tanra. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but uh, <laughs> Ziggy is up there. That's right. Um, but anyway, thank you, folks. I really appreciate you guys being here. Um, and if you're watching this later, I appreciate you as well. Um, I'm excited to kind of wind down our Emerald playthrough. It's been it's been awesome. It's been long too. It's it's I've enjoyed it a lot. And uh, we'll just keep trucking and get all these silver symbols. And until then, I will see you later this week. Peace out, kids.